Hello everyone, in this video I'll be covering the Bewitched World Quest. This world quest happens once per year and runs from June 21st to 25th with 10 days of 50% extra experience afterwards if your world is successful. There is lots to do in this event with it containing achievements, charm points, and boss cherry points. The area where this takes place is under the Green Claw Swamp. There are multiple ways into the cave, you can follow my route if you need help finding it. Using my route, you'll need a machete or a secret agent tool to cut the jungle grass. Depending on where you are located, you can either boat to Venor or carpet to Khazar Dun since this area is close to Dwarf Bridge as well. There are a few different aspects to this world quest and achievements that go with them. One thing to know is this event revolves around phases. This event begins right after server save, then a new phase begins every 8 hours. So, each day of the event, there will be a phase after server save, 8 hours later, then finally another 8 hours after that, which means 3 phases per server save. There are witches clocks in the event area which can be checked to see how many hours remain until the next phase. When a new phase begins, ingredients must be added to the cauldron. The very first phase is always lump of dirt, but after that, the ingredient for each phase is chosen at random. The chosen ingredient can be seen on the tables next to the cauldron. This can be any ingredient from the following list. Marsh Stalker Beak, Batwing, Small Flask of Eye Drops, Lancet, Spider Fangs, Scorpion Tail, Lump of Dirt, Tarantula Egg, Centipede Leg, Sulphurous Stone, Minotaur Horn, and Goblin Ear. You must use the cauldron, then select the ingredient in your inventory to add it. Some of the harder and more expensive ingredients will be Marsh Stalker Beak, Small Flask of Eye Drops, and Lancet, with the most difficult and expensive being the Goblin Ear. Often, lower populated servers can fail if they get some of these uncommon ingredients too often. You can even have to do the same ingredient several times in a row. It'll take around 200 ingredients per phase, which can be a lot for inactive servers, but not very much for active ones. Once enough ingredients have been added during a phase, no more can be added. This can make the achievements hard to get on populated servers. Adding one ingredient will give you the Witch's Little Helper achievement worth one point. 50 ingredients will give Banebringer's Bane for 2 points, while adding 500 ingredients will give Honorary Witch for 4 points. At the end of each phase, if enough ingredients have not been added, the world will fail. If the world fails, no more phases will start to prevent you from continuing to participate in the world quest. Also, at the start of every phase, Banebringers will spawn in the area below the cauldron. These aren't too strong for the average player, but if you are a lower level, you need to be careful as they all spawn in around the room at once. Killing 5 of these will give you 50 charm points, so you want to make sure to get these points during the event if you don't already have them. Banebringers have 2500 health, and you'll want to use physical damage to kill them. They only take 10% damage from all other damage types. If the Banebringers aren't killed, they'll disappear after 10 minutes. It is also possible for these raids to occur randomly throughout the day, so you may find some people camping in the event area. The Banebringers drop an item called Dry Piece of Wood that is worth 200,000 gold or more on some servers. These are so valuable because they are needed for several achievements. If you do have a dry piece of wood, it can be used on the slide next to the cauldron. These do not impact if the world would succeed the world quest or not. It can still be succeeded if nobody adds any wood to the slide. Wood can actually be added to the slide any time of year, even when the event is not active, and will still count towards the achievements. Using one wood will give you the achievement Fire Lighter worth 1 point. 100 wood will grant Fire Devil for 3 points, while using a total of 500 wood will grant Pyromaniac for 4 points. If you were to go for this achievement, it could cost upwards of 100 million gold. During these raids, it is also possible for a boss to spawn called Banelord. Bane Lord is only slightly stronger than Bane Bringers, so you may not even notice it in a pull as you kill it. It is in the Nemesis boss category, which means you'll get 100 boss points for 5 kills. So be a highly sought after boss during these events since the introduction of the boss Jerry. It will be helpful if your server works together to share the kill. This will be very hard to do at the start of each phase, but may be easier for the random raids throughout the day. Just remember, if you're waiting for people to show up to share the kill, the boss may despawn after 10 minutes. Lastly, the rewards. Besides the 10 days of 50% bonus experience if your event succeeds, there are also some individual rewards. You will receive favor points during the event for certain actions. 
you can speak to the NPC Minzi, which is located just above the event area, and trade your favorite points for items. Attached are two tables taken from Tibia Wiki. The first shows how many favorite points you will be granted for adding different types of ingredients or wood to the slide. The second shows how many favorite points it costs to receive rewards. Most people are interested in saving their points for either the white, gray, or black raven kits. These are similar to a furniture kit and can be opened in your house to display the raven. Only one of these can be chosen each year per person. If you accumulate 750 favor points, you will receive the achievement Bewitcher worth 5 points. It is also possible to get the achievement I Did My Part worth 2 points if you haven't received it yet from another world quest. It can be attained in the Bewitch world quest by adding any ingredient to the cauldron or by adding wood to the slide. I hope this video will help you better understand the Bewitched world quest. There are charm points, boss jury points, many achievements, as well as some nice items to go after. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting!